Okay, back to the dragon. Do it. F. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Good day, friends. Today I am back in Azeroth because some of you said that they, that you really like this. You said, "Whoa, this game is cool! Please play some more." So here I am playing some more World of Warcraft. I think maybe we could do it every Wednesday if people really like it. We could do it every Wednesday. We could make it Warcraft Wednesday, just like we have Minecraft Monday. We could do Warcraft Wednesday. That would be cool. Only if enough people like it. Today I am a ghost because it's Halloween and something turned me into a ghost. I actually actually look like this normally um this is my main account which i can show you now because i got my account back because i paid money again but now i have access to everything again i bought the newest the latest expansion and they gave me a level 100 boost so i'm not sure if i'm going to use i'm not actually a fan of boosting my level up really high because then i don't actually know how to play i'm more of a fan of just slowly just starting uh level one and leveling it up slowly let's actually Actually, I prefer that over a level up boost so I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it at all but let's first decide what I'm going to do because I don't think I'm going to play on this character because this is my main character and it is level what level is it 79 I even I never even got it to level 100 back to back when level 100 was the maximum level I never even got it to level 100 but um, because it's higher level I think I kind of want to start a new character I kind of want to start a new character, but before I do that, I think I should show you my mounts. I couldn't do that last week, so now it is time to show you guys some of my mounts. Uh, some of my favorite mounts. Let's see, what are, what are some of my favorites? Ah, oh, this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Check it out. It's a scorpion. Amber scorpion. I remember this one. It's so cool. Check it out. This is definitely one of my favorites. Hello? Angry Druid? Of course, Ashes of the Alar, aka the Phoenix. By the way, there's this giant thing in the sky. I think it has to do with this expansion, but I'm completely not up to date with this expansion and what is going on. So I'm assuming that that is where you go to battle this expansion. Uh... I don't know. This is a nice shot. I'm going to make a screenshot of this. Oh, and the non-chauffeur one of this. The normal version. Where, where do I have that? Where do I have that? Oh, the core hound. The core hound. Check it out. The two-headed lava dog from the molten core. Yes, this is... I got this one right before I last played. I think it was 2014 when they made this for the celebration of 10 years of world of warcraft and i got this i feel i felt like i already wanted to quit but i thought you know what i'm going to get this first because it is so cool no regrets getting this look at how cool it is this is absolutely epic the fell fire hawk of course another phoenix type animal i guess it's also a firebird also a phoenix sort of it is really cool check it out of course, I have to show all the dinosaur type uh, mounts that I have. Check it out. Bam, bam. Wait, let me show the tail better. There we go. Show the tail, show the tail. Do the tail thing. And then... Whoa, this guy is so cool. This guy is so cool. Like a Triceratops and an Ankylosaurus at the same time. I love these guys. This was always my favorite. This was always my favorite to fly around with. It took me very long to get. It was always my favorite mount that I had because I worked so hard for it and way before I wanted it or way before I had it, I already wanted it and I worked really hard for it. So that's why it's my favorite apart from, of course, the fact that it looks absolutely awesome. Can I do a mount a spe special? There we go. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. This one took forever to get. If anyone plays this game, you know how hard this one is to get. You have to do quests every day. Daily quests every day for months. For months you have to do quests every day to get this one. So this one took really long to get. Can we do the mount special? I cannot do... Let's just make it F and see if that works. So now if I press F... There we go. I still know how this, how this game works a little bit. There we go. Oh, that is really cool. 
Now I kind of want to see it for the last dragon as well. Okay, back to the dragon. Do it. F. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. And for nice for nice thumbnail. There we go. This one was actually one of my favorite mounts. It is absolutely it is it is tiny. It is so tiny. I love it so much because it's so tiny. When you when you go over the ground, it doesn't have like the blades because you're just kind of floating. And then if you go up, it this helicopter part comes out and you can fly around. I always thought it was really funny because I'm so big and I'm in, I'm in this tiny tiny helicopter and I always love to fly around places with this. Wait, why am I why am I transparent? Now I'm not anymore. What was what was that? Why was I transparent for a moment? Oh man, what does what's the mount special for this? Oh, it just falls down. What's this dramatic music by the way? Oh wow, that's super dramatic. Let's go on the big wall of China. I mean Pandaria. Let's go and check out some more mounts. Why do I keep turning transparent? What is going on? I genuinely don't know what what is what this is. There we go. My mammoths. My mammoths were always one of my favorite type of mounts and the brown one I worked so hard for it and that's why the brown one is actually my favorite because it always has because it also has people on the back it also has people on the back maybe I can show it if it's here no it's not here I will show it later oh my pig or well actually a boar I don't actually know what it's called I like this one I got this one not that long before I quit this one was from uh, Warlords of Draenor you had to kill a rare uh, monster and then you got this then you could ride him as a mount and this was actually I really like the way he moves I don't know why I think he's really cool. I never actually rode my uh, Raptors that much, but I think they're really cool still. I think they're really cool the Raptors I think I will ride them more when I make my new character. I think I might make a goblin hunter But I haven't really decided. Yeah, I think I'll make a goblin hunter because then I can actually tame a raptor and also because the goblin is so small so the pets will be the same size i think that will be really funny the proto drakes this is a special kind of dragon which you know looks like this it has like arms and wings at the same times which makes it look like it can like climb up buildings and stuff i think they look really cool i have several colors of them this is the green one of course oh wait it has actually it has separate arms i forgot i forgot that it has its own arms I totally forgot. I thought these were its arms because when you when you walk backwards, it really looks like these are the arms. The wings are the arms, but apparently it also has separate tiny tiny arms, just like me, like a T Rex. It has tiny arms so right there. Maybe that's why I like them so much. Oh, my heavenly golden clown serpent, which is also from this expansion. Of course, as you can probably tell if you don't know, this expansion was really based on China and Eastern um, culture. And these are, of course, the dragons that you have in China. The serpent dragons, uh, which means a lot in the Chinese culture, if I'm not mistaken. I actually don't know anything about it, but I think they use it a lot... Um, when they celebrate uh, things, I think they it's like a symbol to keep demons away. But I think this guy looks so cool. The heavenly version means that it's like white glowing. So all this white stuff. There's also one that isn't that doesn't have the white in it. But this one is so much cooler. I think this version is so much cooler. What does what does a special look like? Whoa! Oh yeah, that's really cool. Like it's spouting fire, except it's not. <laughs> I forgot where I got this one. It looks really cool. It's like you're just on a kite. You're just on a kite. I think this one is from... Was it from an achievement? I think it was from an achievement or something. <laughs> I think it is so cool. Wait, is that a lion? Oh, I should get out of there. Or they will kill me. They will try to kill me. Ah, there we go. There's the bike without the chauffeur. When you can drive it by yourself. And you can jump with it. Yeah, there we go. It says Poon on the back. There we go, ready to poon. This is also uh, one of the new ones from Warlords of Draenor. To me it's new, to people really playing this game it's old already. They probably already have all of these mounts. But this is probably one of the last ones that I got before I quit. Uh, by finding the elephant that look the guy that looks like this and you kill him and then you can get this as a drop the mount and you can ride it and I think it's really cool. It's just an elephant uh, I don't know. It's sort of an elephant type Creature. Oh, this one doesn't look this one doesn't fit this character at all 
But I think it's really cool. The skeleton horses, they look so cool and it leaves a little trail of like purple fire. Oh, these, this, this guy is so cool. This guy is so cool. Raven Lord. The Raven Lord. I, I think this is from a dungeon that I had to do every single day for like a month before I finally got it as a drop. But it was worth it because look at how cool it is. The Raven Lord. It is pretty cool. Alex actually has a fire version of this. He showed me this. So maybe one time when he's in the video he can show his fire version. Or maybe if I'm really lucky I can get it too. Because you can get it as a drop. Maybe I should try to get it again. I haven't really tried for it in... Well clearly three years. But even before I quit I wasn't really trying for it. Maybe I should try for that again. Oh this one is cool because you turn into the dragon. Instead of... Instead of riding a dragon, you actually turn into the dragon and you can actually have a friend on your back. You can actually, as you can see, I have a saddle on my back and I can actually, if I'm in a group with a friend, they can just go on my back. And even if they're a low level, I can just fly them everywhere and bring them everywhere. So that's what's really cool about uh, some of these mounts is that you can just carry your friends or your friends can carry you. <laughs> I just have to show this one. I don't know why. Big bull man on a tiny pink ostrich kind of creature <laughs> look at it it looks like it cannot carry my weight it looks way too small for me it looks way too small for me hey someone's flying over there i have that one too i have that one too it's another proto drake <laughs> oh man and the raptors they look so cool look these are the swift versions of the raptors this one and this one oh i really like this one. Oh man this one is really cool. I love raptors. I love dinosaurs. But you know that. You know that. There we go. My favorite land mount. This is the mammoth that has the NPCs on the back. The little the people on the back. And I can trade them. And of course you cannot see it now because I've hidden it. Uh, but then I can actually sell them stuff. Whenever I find anything I can just instantly sell it to them. One of the main reasons why this is my favorite uh land mount or actually probably just my favorite mount in general in world of warcraft is because i once had it on a private server and if you don't know what that is it's basically a, a fake version of world of warcraft where you can play and i played on one where it got like 10 times the amount of money and then i managed to get this one and it was 10 times easier to get and i thought it was really cool but of course it was really easy to get and then eventually i started playing the real world of warcraft again and I wanted to prove to myself. Sustains me. Excuse me? Okay. Oh, it's the Shah of Anger back there. It's the Shah. Is he. Oh, people are fighting him? Oh, people are probably fighting him or something. Oh, he's dead. He is dead already. Maybe he's super easy now. I guess he's super easy to kill now. Maybe that person we just saw flying by, by uh, killed him. He also drops a mount. He actually drops the black version of this mount um, with white in it. And I thought maybe later he becomes really easy to fight. So maybe now he's super easy to fight. Oh, it's dark here though. It's super dark here. Okay, but yeah, as I was saying, this is my favorite mount because I had to work 10 times harder to get this one than the fake version that I had on that other server, that private server. Uh, and that's why I was super proud because I was on low level. I, it was really hard for me to make money and it, it, it actually cost like, I think, 20,000 gold, uh, which for me uh, was a lot. And actually to this day is still quite a lot because I've never been really good at making money. So that's why this is my favorite mount. Apart, of course, from the fact that it just looks so cool and yeah it's just really cool to ride it it's just so big even though they are they, they are nowadays they are adding a lot more mounts that are really big they're actually mounts that are bigger than this but yeah i just love this one i think this one will never be beat in just that it's my favorite mount this one is just so cool Anyway, those were, well, some of my mounts, of course, not all of them, <laughs> just some of them, because um, I cannot show all of them, there's too many of them. Now I'm just going to do random mounts. You can also do random mounts, and then the game picks one for you, so let's just see which one comes up when I do random. Ooh, this is actually the one that we saw someone, I, someone else flying on earlier. This is actually the one that we saw someone else flying on. We should probably do a pet battle, actually. Let's do a pet battle, because I couldn't do it before I end this video. Let's do a pet battle. Okay, I see something. I see something. 
I see something. Can we finally do a pet battle after all this time? After all this time. What is it? It is a, just a little lizard, but that's okay. I just want to do a pet battle, okay? I've been waiting so... Yes! Yes! <gasps> There's actually a blue one. Blue is the best quality that you can find in the wild. It is level 25. It is blue quality. What is blue? Maybe one in a hundred? I'm not really sure. But I hope I can get... I, can, I hope I can actually catch this. So if you don't know the pet battles, they just go the same as in Pokemon. Uh, so you just uh, pick an attack and you have three attacks. And you can pick one and you can see which one is weak. This one is weak, of course, because it uh, has a red arrow. And you can see they all have a type as well. Mine is humanoid. And th this one I'm fighting against a beast, which takes less damage from humanoid abilities. So that's, that's kind of the same as in Pokemon. But I'm just going to use this guy anyway. Boom, because he's really strong. So even if his abilities are weak, he can still uh, survive, I think. Now I'm not going to catch this one. I'm not going to catch this one. One Another thing that I really like is that you don't get Pokeballs. You just have a trap, which is basically just a box. And you don't have to buy it or anything. You just have it. So that's really nice. Okay, for this fight, I think I'm actually going to get Snippy. Can I, can I switch pet? Yeah, switch pet to Snippy because Snippy is my favorite pet. Snippy, I need your power. What can he do again? He can do... Let's see, he can heal, he can do Bone Storm. Yes, there we go. Do Bone Storm. Use Bone Storm. Bam! And then he comes back. Oh, and he attacks the other pet as well, I forgot. That's what he does. He attacks the other pet, which you cannot see because it's back there in the bushes. Rah, there we go. Go do it. Come on. No, ow, ow, ow. Finish him. There we go. Yes. Snippy for the win. Yeah, Archie was always more of like the healer slash tank for the team. Never really the fighter, but that's good because... Yes. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? I'm just going to keep trying to catch it. I'm just going to keep trying to catch it. No! Missed! Missed! Should I try another? I'm going to try attack. Please don't kill it. I hope it doesn't kill it. <gasps> oh! Oh, it has very low health. Yes, yes. Catch it now. Catch it now. Yes! Yes! I have it! I have the the, the tall eye hair pup. There we go. Wait, I already had one? Are you serious? I already had one. Ah, oh, no. I already had one. And a bad quality one. We can get rid of that one, I guess. Just release it, right? Just, I guess I'll just release it. Anyway, apparently I've been recording for half an hour, so I've got to end it here. Uh, next week, I think I'll make my character. Tell me if you like Warcraft Wednesday next week. I think I will make my new character. Maybe I can try a level 100 boost, but I'll probably won't do it. But I know that you can try it out, but, so we can try it out and see if it's fun. But I think I'll just make a level 1 character and see how it goes. Uh, anyway, apart from that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. <laughs>